Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Welcome to episode 300. Uh, so obviously this is our 300th episode we're putting out, so we wanted to do something a little bit different for this one for you as well. So we've done another longer compilation for you. So there's quite a few patients in this compilation. Um, what you can see for this first patient here is they've got some very, very thick uh, sticky type wax mainly at the entrance to the canal here you can see there's some darker harder pieces further in as well so I'm just using the micro section here just to try and uh, release this front section away from the canal wall if we can only because we've got quite a large piece further in uh, that will sometimes get stuck especially the sticky type wax uh, at the entrance here so I can see that we've got that top piece of wax there is much much further back so we need to remove a lot more of this front section before that back piece there will move so we're just going to try and bend this forwards using the jobson home we've got a nice little gap there to get into i'm going to slow everything down so as we get behind this now we're going to start pulling this forwards you'll see the whole big chunk of the front there coming away there we are it's actually taking some of that front section with it as well can see it's very very dark almost this is very deep chestnutty brown color and then we're going to go and get this next section away here a lot of it is sort of stuck and tucked around this left hand bend so i'm gonna as i put the jobs in the honey i'm gonna pull along that left hand canal wall which is going to draw more of this out as well there we are you can see that's taken another big chunk a very deep smooth section there as well and that's bringing everything slowly forwards. Let's wait for that bit to pop through. There we go. You can see that it's starting to bring that those little kind of straggly bits on the left hand side with it now. But every time we're going in with the jobs in the home, we're actually bringing this forward. So it's actually bringing the next section forward. It's a much safer way of, uh, of doing this type of uh, extraction. That way then we're only working just inside the canal wall uh, just inside the canal entrance i should say i'm sorry there we are you can see a little bit of dry skin at the base there and you can see a much much deeper piece in there we just need to clear this left i said there was a lot tucked around the left hand canal wall there you go we brought some out already but look how much was tucked just out of sight look can you see how much was in there that's just it, sometimes you get that with that little groove so we've got this section at the top of the canal wall there we're just going to quickly remove that here we are, easy to do with the jobs and horn. Brilliant, and now we've got this much, much deeper section. Obviously, we wouldn't use the jobs and horn here because we need to rely on getting behind it. Well, it's, it's right up against the uh, the eardrum. So I'm just not pressing onto it. I'm just trying to stay slightly away from it and drawing it towards us. There we go. You can just see we get that little bit of movement. The top section's broken away. It's actually brought that wax further down the canal, though. So... You can see as it got sucked towards the, uh, the the end of the tube there, very, very dark, uh, almost black in color wax, a very old wax there. There we go. We can see the eardrum there, all looking nice and healthy, patient hearing a lot, lot better. So this is the same patient, but their second ear. Now what you can see is we do have this little blob at the bottom. We've got a gap, a nice gap there at the top. So let's see if we can use the same technique as before just get behind it and slowly bring this down and hopefully pull the rear end of that wax further down the canal to make it easier to get out you can see it's not quite as um hardened up on this side there's still a little bit of uh softness to the wax a little bit of squishiness in there as well so as we pull forward you can see it just kind of bent the wax forwards rather than brought it from further back so i'm just going to gently get behind the next section now this is more than likely going to be slightly harder when we get to this deeper section. It may well have been here a little bit longer. You can see the color change now. Let's see, we're getting to that far darker chestnutty brown color. There we go. You can see it's all coming away really nicely. And we just need to tuck behind this section. This is similar to what we were doing on the first year with the left hand canal wall. You can see we get a lot of tucked in. Uh, just around the corners in these sections so sometimes it is worth just having a little look in there just to give it a bit of a clear 
I've got a bit of dry skin there. Take that away. There we go. We can see the eardrum there now. Let's just quickly clear this a little bit away on the left hand canal wall. There we go. So we can see the eardrum there. This is what we removed. Look at the color differences. You've got very light to almost black in color differences. So we've got just under four centimeters of uh, of wax there we removed. Uh, inch and a half of, uh, of, uh, of wax there. Yeah, quite crumbly, dry stuff, that one. Okay, so on to our second patient in the compilation. So you can see now we've got a little bit softer wax in the first patient, but still quite blocked up in here. So we're going to adopt a little bit of suction here. We're going to clear this entrance first of all, just get this little bit away from the front end there. You can see how sticky that is. It's just peeling away from the canal walls. And then we're going to aim for that larger rear section now, see if we can get a good grip on there. It's that little bit softer than the uh, than the first patients. So it is starting to peel apart a little bit better. Here we are. You can see as we're, peeling, as we're suctioning it in, you can see the little bits of skin getting suctioned in there as well. I'm aiming for the left hand side. I want to peel away from the left canal wall if we can. So I'm looking for where this wax actually starts. There we go. So you can just see we've got that bit of a ridge there. So we're going to work that ridge. There's a little bit of skin to the left hand side, which is probably going to come away with it as well now in a second. There we go. All starting to peel away really nicely from that left hand canal wall. There we are. As we fold it into the center now, what I'm aiming to do, if I can get rid of this left hand piece, if I try and pull the center section away with this left piece attached, uh, then what's going to happen is the wax is just not going to go anywhere. So if we can free up that section first of all, it really makes a big difference then when we come to get that central section away. There we are. So we've managed to peel a nice big chunk away from the left hand canal wall. You can see some of that got suctioned in. So we're going to go back in and see if we can grab the remainder. I've slowed this down so it's got a little bit easier to see with some of these little hairs on the outer part of the ear canal. There we are. You can see it pulling, see it's stretching and pulling the remainder of the wax down. Look, see that? So we've taken that piece there. You can see how long that piece was. So that was attached to the left hand canal wall and went down the left hand side of the wax. So when we take a look in there now, you can see we've actually detached it from a lot of the canal walls just by removing that one piece. But it is still quite stuck at the base, at the bottom. So we're just going to move it around. There we are. The top sections come away really nicely. A little bit too big to fit out, so it's got uh, jammed in the entrance to the canal. Just giving it a bit of a wiggle, trying to free it up a little bit here. There we are. Really trying to wiggle this down. And out it pops. So you can get a good look at it there. Whoop, there you go. If this does happen, we do drop these things every once in a while. Land in the bowl of the year, so we picked it back up again. There we are. So you can get a good look at it. Uh, when we look back in now, we'll notice that we've still got that base section there that's still attached to the canal wall. So if we get a grip on the side of this, it should lift the whole thing up. Now there's nothing above it. So it means we can really peel up to the, uh, to the roof. There we go. That gets a nice big section away there. Very dark in color. It snapped about halfway out of the ear canal. So uh, you can see it just got sucked into the, uh, the end of the tube there. Let's get the remainder back out. You can see sometimes you get the entrance to the canals are a little bit narrower. So as you're trying to pull the wax through, it actually starts breaking pieces away. Here we go, and out it comes. And there we are. We see the eardrum now uh, looking nice and healthy. Just start to take that one away there. Um, the, if you're looking for a time to an opportune time to go away and uh, get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee uh, before the next one would probably be a good idea because the next one goes on a little bit longer, it's a bit more of an intriguing one. Uh, I now have dual rulers. 
look at this, I've got two and a half centimeters and an inch. There you go, I can tell it exactly the same time. I just thought this might be an easier way, rather than me record two videos with the, the same bit of wax, I'll just put two rulers, one above, one below. It was actually one of, uh, it was one of you guys' ideas to do that. Uh, okay, so uh, if you wanna get a cup of tea, pause the video now, go get yourself one. This patient's come through very, very blocked up ear, very complicated ear, nose and throat history. Uh, gentleman's had uh, numerous infections over the years, um, a few minor operations. He's had some grommets fitted, so lots and lots of different things going on in this ear. But come through today because just not hearing very well, you can see we've got a very, very deep section of, uh, of wax and skin uh, down really really close to the eardrum a complicated case this one uh, because the skin isn't always the easiest to remove we have very very little room to maneuver i'm going to show you the shape of the ear canal in in a in a few minutes but we've got this very very narrow canal everything impacted right down on top of the eardrum so just an absolute nightmare one to to, to try and remove um, but what you can see here we're just trying to tease this skin apart just trying to kind of pull these sections down. You can see it's really, really firmly attached. And that happens a lot with these, these kind of skin issues uh, and these very, very dry wax issues as well. So I'm trying to just hover over the top of the wax at the moment using the standard sized uh, Zolna tube to suction in. Um, the patient was an absolute star. Um, you, you're always checking with your patients, but he did so well because it's not a pleasant place to have it taken away from. And you can see now it's really starting to come away, but you're getting this thicker um, skin debris. I've slowed this down because you can see it peeling. That, see all that peeling away from that main body of wax and it gets sucked straight into the machine. Just sped everything back up again now. So with this type of problem, it's always breaking it down layer by layer by layer. They are just slowly peeling this away and we've got to be so careful because this is um, you know quite firmly attached to the canal walls at the moment we haven't got to the eardrum so we don't know how well it attached it is to the eardrum so we're just gonna very sort of gently using the the the, the power of the suction try not to dig into this um, like I said a little bit complicated by the shape of the canal though there we are so I've got a bit of uh, we've got a little bit of traction to the base there, so just lift it. There we go. You can see a, uh, a chunk of that skin come away. A lot of this, because it's smaller, got sucked straight inside the tank, I'm afraid. I do try and salvage as much as I can, but you can see there it just got sucked inside the machine. Um, okay, so now we've broken that bottom section away. We can get... See, that, see the change in consistency? It looks a little bit wetter. Now, that's what causes the problem for the last bit. When it goes wet, it tends to um, coat the canal wall and in this case completely coat the eardrum and then it can um, sometimes harden a little bit or thicken a little bit so we've actually got this section now um, covering the eardrum okay so um, we've got to be you can see it peeling starting to peel away we've got to be really careful with this there we go just trying to lift trying to find anywhere to lift from really um, because I've got no room in here it's really really difficult to, to get the if you've ever seen me do a peel before you know we can appeal from top to bottom or from left to right but there's such small amount of space in here uh, we can't get the movement we need to get a really good peel unfortunately so what you'll see with the ear canal is it's very narrow at this top section and it's wider at this bottom section here. So a very elongated shape. And it's also twisted across to one side. Now I'm going to magnify this section. That part is the eardrum. So you can see we're actually peeling directly from the eardrum. So I'm really, really, we have to be so, 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 so careful in here. Here we are. I'm trying to get a bit of traction to this bottom section here. Uh, this is actually tucked into that valley. So it's coating the valley, the canal wall, and the eardrum. I'm really trying to get this peel without causing any discomfort for the patient, and obviously, more importantly, without causing any damage to the uh, drum at all. So I'm just going back in now. I'm going to aim for a slightly different spot. I'm going to see if we can peel from the top left down. 
because I can't. Normally what I would do is hold on to that top section we're getting a grip on now and pull downwards. Uh, but the bump just that you can see at the, the camera, the, what you can see at the forefront of the camera there is that little lump, that ridge there, um, which is proving really difficult to, to get past, to get the angle, to get that good, uh, that good peel. So what I've done, I've actually doused this with olive oil. I want to try and soften this last section if we can. Um, really loosen it from the eardrum because the last thing we want to be doing is pulling if we saw any flexion to the eardrum okay so keep an eye on this section to the the bottom right hand corner here a second okay that i can see there's a little ridge there and i think that's the best way in to get this peel so what i'm going to do i've got to very carefully guide this suction tube between the eardrum and the canal wall get a grip on that very very narrow section there and start the peel see it peeling away i've slowed it down so you can see the olive oil's got underneath it look and it's 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 helping the peel along because once the olive oil gets behind it, it loosens and loosens and loosens all the way along so as you're peeling it's just working a little bit more behind okay it's starting to get the good peel it's starting see we've uncovered that uh right hand corner there of the eardrum slowly peeling across we've got a little ridge of uh ah, see it flicks back um Sometimes when you do a peel, it actually it flicks back onto the eardrum, but we know we've detached that section now. So um, the reason it didn't peel off completely is because this top section was holding it on there. Now we've we've pulled down the top section. Uh, we know the right hand section is loose, um, so we're going to aim back to that little ridge I pointed out earlier, because that's where we got the movement to start with. I don't know why I'm going quiet. I've, I've, I've done this already. I know, I know what's coming. So uh, we lift up for the bottom section there. There we are. Okay, so we've detached from the bottom section now. So we've loosened off it, uh, from the little valley in front of the eardrum. And um, what we're going to go back in now is we're going to just try and get this main body off the drum. Okay, so that's keep an eye on that section there. Okay, and... We're going to zoom in in a second. There we go. Watch this as it comes away. So we've got, we've aimed for that little corner again. We've got a grip on the corner. You can see, look at it, just slide off the eardrum. Perfect. Okay, so that's come away. So we've uncovered the majority of the eardrum there. Now, I will warn you in advance, we don't get all of this away. I really, really try my hardest to get this top section away. What you'll see now with this top section, we do try for a little while to get this out um, for you know for a good few minutes. But what you'll see is when we get a grip on this top section, as we pull, which you'll see in a second, if this really annoying little white hair gets out of the way, there we go. Um, what you'll see in a second is that when we pull down on this, we get a little tiny bit of a pull to the eardrum. Okay, now it is quite loose. The top section is free. But the bottom portion of this is really, really firmly attached to the eardrum. Now, the difficulty we have when it comes to peels like that is the eardrum skin is less than paper thin. It's very, very thin. So if we pull too hard and it's too firmly attached on there, we're going to cause a tear. Now, this gentleman, if you remember, had um, some grommets fitted in the past, which means there is more than likely going to be some scar tissue left on this eardrum. And that scar tissue can form really thinly. So I'm going to try and get away as much of the looser debris as I can. And he's going to oil this up for another week and come back and see us in about a week's time. But we have uncovered the majority of the eardrum there. So patient much, much happier, really hearing well when he left. Uh, we did bless him. We did really try to get this away. But uh, you'll see what I mean about that flexion in a second. You just get a little bit of a pull when it gets to that point. There's a little bit of movement to the eardrum underneath. You can see it's only covering that very top section. Now, the majority of vibration to the eardrum happens at the bottom section of the eardrum where uh, it's a much wider area, so you get a lot of vibration there. Top section, not so much, but I'm just going to tidy up as much of this as I can. Here we are. See, we're getting some bigger chunks away there. There we go, and that little hair can come out as well. OK, 
Okay, so just you can see as we peel, we got a grip. Uh, it's just starting to pull on the eardrum underneath. Awkward place to work in anyway. Um, but yeah, it's it's that section there that's pulling. As we're pulling this, uh, you'll see there's a little bit of flexion to the eardrum as we move it. So for safety, I would just prefer to leave this alone now. We'll just stop at this point. Um, let the patient oil it for a week. They'll come back, see if we can remove it. But we have got them hearing it a lot, lot better. A lot, lot better. See, it's just that groove. It's tucked in on the side of the hammer bone, basically. So just that little groove there, unfortunately. But the rest of the eardrum's clear. Um, so just over, well, uh, it's about three quarters of a centimeter. Um, I'm going to say just under half an inch for that one. Just round it up a little bit. Um, so this is uh, our next patient in the compilation. Much, much easier. Now, this is also a skin issue. We can tell it's skin because it's very ripply around the outside edge, and it's got this almost like grayish color to it. So um, patients come through really not hearing very well, has very little hearing on one side, and this is the better ear, so really blocked up. But you'll see as we get a grip on this, it starts to pull the whole section forwards. So we're just going to get a grip on the rear of that and start working this out. Watch the ear canal entrance as we pull this out. You'll see we've got that main chunk there, but look, we're still pulling out from behind. See, it's still working its way out. Still, ah, it's just broken away there. So this is actually one of those skin ribbons. It's a long, long piece with a bit of uh, wax built into it as well. So just getting all this away. There we are. And we can see the eardrum now, which is great. So patient hearing a lot better. And we'll just do a bit of tidying up around the front end of the canal there. And just get that little piece away there. There we go. Just bring the suction along that one, try and take some of this away. There we go. And there we are, there's the eardrum. Looking nice and healthy there. Absolutely perfect. Uh, so you can see this was one continuous piece. So uh, two centimeters, uh, just over three quarters of an inch there as well. Yeah, nice big piece that one. And so we've come to the, the last patient in the compilation. So what you can see here is we've got a very, very blocked up ear canal. Um, lovely gentleman, a young chap came, came through, he'd failed his testing work, so needed his ears cleaned out. Um, lots of history of lots of different bits and pieces uh, ear nose and throat wise what you can see is we've got a very very large piece of wax here patient was a little bit jumpy so a little bit nervous which is why you see a little bit of movement to the uh, to the camera there as well so what we're doing here is using the suction just to try and get a good grip on this front section now you can see we've got a little bit of movement to the wax itself uh, but not a tremendous amount of forward movement so that would normally indicate to me that we've got quite a long uh, piece of wax in here so I'm just trying to break down this front section really trying to hold on just to get a good grip there you can see the patient just moving around quite a bit there so it, i'm trying to stay as steady as i can now what you've got to remember when you've got a long piece of wax like this we actually broke a section away there um sometimes it can feel a little bit more uncomfortable because we talk a lot about bends in ear canals well if you've got a piece of wax that's quite long and formed onto those bends when you're trying to maneuver it out you're trying to maneuver it around a bend so you're trying to take it out of its natural position which can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable for the patient so we're really working this out here now um, just a quick note about uh, 300 plus one day, which is obviously uh, what's coming through tomorrow. We thought we would give you the opportunity to have a chat with us live. So both myself and Mrs. B will be uh, live from uh, 9 p.m. Uh, GMT tomorrow. So uh, it gives you the opportunity to ask all those burning questions you've always wanted to ask us. And uh, if you want to just come along, say hi, have a general chit chat with us. We're going to be sitting at home, so you'll have to excuse the surroundings. We're not going to be in clinic. We're going to be probably sitting in our kitchen, I expect, doing this tomorrow. So uh, yeah, by all means, join us then. Come along, say hi, give us a wave, uh, have a chat with us, ask us all the questions you want to. You can see we've managed to get a good grip now on this last section of wax here. So it's just working its way out of the canal. There we go. You can see it's on its way, it's still coming out of the canal. So quite a long piece of wax, this one. I'm going to bend it around to the right hand side now just to be able to maneuver this out. There we go, still coming. 
still going. <laughs> I have slowed the video down, but it's, yeah. And there we go, and it's just coming to the end of it now. Took away that little bit of dry skin on the outside part of the ear canal. And there we go. You can see just how long that plug was. Um, yeah, the patient was very, very shot to get that out. Take a look in there. We can actually see the back portion of it had gone all the way down from the front of the canal right the way down to the eardrum. So I've popped a little bit of olive oil in here, which is going to, you know, I said the patient was a little bit nervous. So um, it just helps that to slide away a little bit more easily and without causing any discomfort. So we're going to slowly creep down to this last piece of wax now using the Zolna tube, just staying slightly away. We're going to bring this to the tube. There, we just got out of the grip now. There we are. And you can see it all peel away. This was actually pushed right up against the eardrum. So no wonder this poor gent was having so much difficulty. And no wonder it was quite tender to remove as well. You can see it was in the most sensitive part of the ear canal, the back end of this wax. There we are. So that's that little block there coming away. And if we look behind that now, you can see the eardrum there. That ear canal is looking a lot cleaner. When you look at the other side now, this gentleman hadn't put any oil in this side. So what we have here is lots of lots of little different blocks of wax at the entrance here, all sitting really close to one another. So it looks a little bit easier to remove uh, until we get a grip on it. And then you start to notice that it's actually not moving very well at all. Uh, that's because there's a little ribbon of skin. You can just see me stretching it now coming out of the ear canal. Um, there that little ribbon there is running down the left hand side of this wax and you can see I can't get a good enough grip to pull it out so it's kind of concertinaed up in there I'm just trying with the Jobson horn here to pull this through you can see we're just scraping along the surface it's really not getting away so uh, easiest way to get a grip on this is use the crocodile forceps now get a good grip grab that section there we go and pull and the whole thing starts to slide along there we go so that's taking that uh, skin ribbon away that would have been holding some of this wax in so we're going to go back in now with the uh, zolna tube just to try and ease this out there we move that block could you see it detached from the layer underneath there's still a layer against the skin so I'm going to try and hold on to this section with the, the forceps. If it's a hard section, then as we pull, you can see the whole thing starts to move forward. So now we know this, this particular section is quite loose, but very crumbly. So as we get to the outer part of the ear canal, uh, it gets stuck. So we have to go back in uh, with the Jobson horn. Crash zoomed it straight into the camera. There we are. You can see now we've got another really long block of wax. Look at that. It's it's, it's you know it's it's almost the full length of the ear canal again, uh, taken away. Very very dry in nature. Uh, there's a little bit here left at the entrance to the canal. So just take that away, and then we've got this last section. You can see as with the other ear, it's broken a section off really deep in the canal. So we'll go get that now. Just got to tidy up around the outside edge first. Um, while I'm tidying, I just want to say a massive thank you to uh, you guys for sticking with the channel as long as you have. I can't believe we've got to 300 episodes and people are still watching, which is absolutely fabulous. Uh, me and Mrs. B love you guys so much. You're so supportive. We have the best the best community on YouTube because you guys are so positive about everything and with each other in the uh, comment sections about every little thing we try and do you are so good with us uh, and we love you all to bits for that so thank you so so much it's it, it does mean a, a massive amount to both me and Mrs B uh, you guys are absolutely awesome awesome so uh, enough praising you guys up let's get back to the wax so what you can see now is we've got the last little bit coming away I just want to clear there's got this flap of skin you see that's lifting up as we were trying to get the suction in so we've got that away now getting this very last piece now just slowly edging down towards it I've slowed the video down there you saw it suck towards the machine look you see so towards the suction tube and uh, we'll just take this last little bit away there there we go out it comes and the eardrum there looking good there we are, perfect. Uh, so this is what we moved. So we have seven and a half centimeters, which is bang on three inches. So you can see really big pieces there to the right hand side, really, really long pieces. 
Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.